Hitchhiking north through the islands of Shetland, a Land Rover stopped for me. The driver was a man of about 40. He wore a gas blue boiler suit and his beard was flecked with white. Where are you bound? he asked with a voice like rust and sea spray, an accent more Norse than Scots. Unst, I said. He told me that off the island of Unst, the northernmost of the Shetland Islands, a black-browed albatross had been seen, a species accustomed to the skerries of the sub-Antarctic. It must have crossed the equator in a storm, he said, and got disorientated. Took one look at Unst and thought, that looks like home. I was in search of distant islands, in love with the idea that on a patch of land, protected by a circumference of sea, the obligations and the irritations of life would dissolve and a singular clarity of mind would descend. It proved more complicated than that. The Book Island Dreams I wrote because I wanted to write a very different kind of travel book. I wanted to write a book which, rather than be about one particular journey, was actually about the journey of a lifetime, looking at a theme that has recurred throughout my life. I work as a doctor, I work in very kind of busy, hectic urban environments quite a lot of the time, and it's been a recurring theme for me to, to retreat almost to places of, of quite extreme isolation in order somehow to rebalance my life between the, the periods of intense work in the city and then these other periods of almost recuperation and recalibration. And so I wanted to write a different kind of book which explored those journeys across a whole lifetime in very short, condensed kind of fragments of prose and interspersed too with all sorts of maps of these places showing the way the islands have been imagined and reimagined over the centuries. Every area has its own history, its own culture, its own geography and the, the writing of that area feeds into it and so Scottish nature writing of course is um, it's evolved and emanates from this land, this culture, this geography that we inhabit. So in that way it's special. Some of my books you could define as nature writing, some of my books you could define as travel writing, some of them you could define as medical writing, but they're all trying to do the same thing. They're all trying to map out and explore landscapes in a way that I hope can expand the reader's imagination and take them to places that otherwise they would never ever have the opportunity to see.